outbreak in Japan has sparked fears across the country of radiation, nuclear fallout, or the chance of a disaster coming to the U.S. next. And as a result, these companies that sell doomsday bunkers and underground fallout shelters are seeing sales and inquiries just skyrocket. There's one company called Vivos, which makes huge underground shelters that can fit anywhere from 200 to 950 people. And it has seen reservations rise over a thousand percent just in the last week, so since the earthquake hit. The underground bunkers that Vivos creates are made out of concrete and steel and are not what you'd think of when you think of an ordinary underground fallout shelter. The CEO likened it to a four-star hotel underground. Pool tables, lounges, everyone gets their own room, a bathroom, there's a kitchen, a bakery, dental facilities, a medical center, um, a fully stocked wine cellar. Uh, pet kennels, and even a prison where you can put people if they start being violent. And why would you need all this crazy stuff in a fallout shelter? Well, because you could be there for a while. The one that they're building right now is in Nebraska, and it's about the size of a Walmart, and it can fit 950 people. You have to pay $25,000 to reserve your spot, whereas the other shelters are 50000 the companies that I talked to said that they had customers that were really worried that the apocalypse was coming and that this was that these earthquakes and tsunamis and violence in the Middle East were all signs that 2012 um, is going to be a year full of chaos and catastrophes as the Mayans have predicted. They say that they are in a race against time to finish their shelters by the year 2012 and they are currently building about five shelters across the country and the Nebraska complex, which is their biggest, is, has just started going under construction. But they won't give any details about the exact locations because they want to keep their customers protected and they think that if anyone finds out about these shelters and where they're located that they could compromise their safety. And Vivos isn't the only company doing well right now. Plenty of other companies selling similar shelters are seeing their sales soar right now. In times of such uncertainty and when there's chaos all around the world, there are always going to be companies like this profiting from other people's fears.